Oh, okay. I'm looking for Lily. What? I need some help with a personal matter. Hmm. Don't you think Lily has enough personal matters in her life right now? Yes, I know. Yeah, I know. I don't want to bother her. I went to the farm. Emma's not talking. I went to her house. The caretaker told me she'd left the country. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea when she'll be back? Nope. No. But if I, if I could just speak with her on the phone. Mm. She's not taking any phone calls. Why don't you run your little emergency by me? You're out of luck. Right. Well, that's okay. I mean, so the, my mom's bracelet will be lost forever, you know. I'll live. Maybe <laughs> not. You know what I can do? I can call the manager at the Lakeview. I can ask him to do me a favor. You would do that. Yeah, but you need to give me some information. I mean, uh, tell me, when was the last time that you were there at the Lakeview? It was the day of Craig and Barbara's wedding. Oh. Wow. Wow, the bride wasn't the only one rolling snake eyes that night, huh? That's a shame. I'll call him. I'll see if he'll help me out. Rose, I don't know what to say. Sit tight. I'll, I'll see if the manager guy will do me a favor, okay? Actually, you know what I hate? I hate the thought that somebody else might have picked it up and walked away with it. I never thought of that. How would I know if some of the broads were in your gold? Right. That's why I should see the tape myself. Mm. Yeah. I mean, four eyes are better than two. Right. Mm. I will call Kevin back. <laughs> I will tell him that uh, you get the all clear for you to take a look at the videotape yourself. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. No I don't, problem. I can't thank you enough for this, really. I'm going to leave you my cell phone number. I haven't done anything yet. Okay. And um, after well. you talk to the manager, give me a call, and I'll, I'll be able to come right over. Yeah. Okay? We'll do that. Now, you keep this cell phone on, and I will call you right away when I hear anything. Awesome. Great. Okay. Thank you. It's great to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Problems may be solved. Did you track down Lily? No, but I found the next best thing. Rose was at Lucinda's, and she said she would find out if there was any tape from that security camera from Craig and Barbara's wedding. She's going to call me. We're going to go over the tape together. <laughs> wow! So you did it. You actually oh, pulled it off. Oh, almost. She said she was going to call. So come on. Ring. Once I erase that tape, Jack will never have to know that my lips were anywhere close to Craig. You are going to be so glad, so glad, that you got my message. I understand that's your favorite. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> but I got something better, better than a decaf coffee for you, handsome. <laughs> I'm so glad you're sitting down because you're going to fall over. Now look at this. Beast your beautiful eyes on these. These are library receipts checked out by hospital patients in the last few months. I still don't understand. All right, all right. Now, where is it leading? Come on. A lot of the books that were checked out have to do with the same subject, military history. Now, the books cover a lot of ground, espionage, guerrilla warfare, artillery, explosives. Explosives. Everything you want to know about explosives. Emily Stewart and I have been researching this for the last couple of weeks. Emily Stewart. It's starting to look more and more like the real culprit is the person who checked out these books. Put the pieces together. Whoever made the attempt on Barbara's life at the boathouse knew a lot about explosives. And whoever went after her at the hospital had to know the routine over there well enough to get away clean. Yeah, Hal, but to switch gears now because of some library checkout slips? Well, these slips aren't the only thing that point to another suspect. What else do you know? Somebody broke into Emily's car right after she got these slips from the hospital records room. If there was a break-in, why didn't you report it right then? Oh, you know me. I figured I could handle it myself, but it's gotten too big now, and now I need your help. Why? Something else happened? Someone broke into Emily's house tonight. Was anyone hurt? Luckily, I got there before whoever it was could make their move, and they got away. But they're gonna go after Emily again. If we don't stop them fast, and I guarantee you they're gonna keep on going after her until they finish the job. Who's that? Who's there? Maggie? Maggie, is that you?
that you? Maggie? Oh, God, this can't be happening. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Get me security. This is an emergency. Get me security. Oh. Oh. Who are you? Huh? What do you want from me? No. 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 God, no. No. Please. Please, whoever you are, just listen. Listen to me if you can hear me. I swear I won't say anything. Just go. Oh. Exactly. <clears throat> By bad news. Well, you wanted to look at the, the videotape from the security camera the day of Barbara and Craig's wedding. Yeah. Did right? you find something? Yeah. You're not going to like to hear this. What? What do you mean? You're looking for a lost bracelet. Yes. Well, I hate to tell you this, but you're not going to find your bracelet. Why? Was it... Were the cameras not working? No, oh, yeah. they were working. 100%. Did you see the, the film yourself? No. Because the tape is gone. It turns out the hotel only holds on to them for a week, and then they dump them. Oh, that's great. Uh, great. Great, yes. Unbelievably great disappointment that you're not going to be able to find your bracelet. Yeah. I know. So, you know, I'll, I'll never be able to look at the tape myself, then. It's gone. You're sure? The shredder. It's shredded. It's shred everything. Big One big rip. <laughs> Any evidence, anything that went on, any record of what happened at Montgomery and Ryan's wedding, it's gone for good. What a shame. Yeah, it is a shame. You're never going to find out who stole or your bracelet or if you lost it, or especially since it's your mom's oh, your bracelet. Oh, poor, yeah. dear, dead mom. God bless her. Are you going to be okay, Brian? Yeah, you know, I, it'll take a little while, but I'll get over it. Thanks. I really wish I could do something else for you girls, but... No, oh, you've done enough, and I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. I'm just sorry that things didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to. Ciao, girls. Bye. 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 Congratulations, oh, Mother! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the tape is shredded. <laughs> Molly, my worries are over. Now nobody will ever have to know that I was stupid enough to let myself be kissed by the devil himself. Woo! <laughs> Is there anything I can get you? Yeah, some breathing room. Do you mind? I was at the station when the call came in. Are you okay? Yeah, I know. I know I should have listened to you. Okay, Chris, would you skip the I told you so, please? I'm just glad to find you breathing. Your next bruise is pretty bad. Yeah. Attractive, huh? Forget about how you look. How do you feel? I'm okay. I mean, I just have a sore neck and my... My insides feel like jello, but other than that, I'm in the pink. <laughs> okay, Officer Costello filled me in. Are you all right? It will be when you tell me that they found the creep that tried to kill me. Well, no, we haven't yet. We will catch him, Emily. Don't worry. All right, tell me what happened, Emily. Well, there's not much to tell, really. I, I, was, I was just in my office and... I heard a noise, and the lights went out, and the phones went dead, and then I saw this, I don't know what, this creepy shadow figure behind the glass. Did you see the attacker's face? No, I just saw his silhouette. I mean, I couldn't see his face. I could just tell that whoever it was was big, you know, a lot bigger than me. All right, go on, what next? I just went to the door because they tried to come in, and he pushed his hands through the glass and put his put his hands around my neck and just started to squeeze the life out of me. Detective Hughes, we found these in the hallway. <gasps> you recognize this? Oh, yeah, that's the negotiating tool I used to convince my visitor to go away. Looks like you gave him a run for his money. Yeah, too bad it wasn't enough. Well, there is enough blood on here to get a type, so we'll run a DNA match.